Hey y'all, it's Sheree, what's up? Do you want to know how I went from this to this with an extreme deep conditioning routine for moisture, hair growth, and length retention? Then let's get into it. I owe much of my length retention over the past year to consistently doing this routine. So I want to share and put y'all on. Consider giving this video a thumbs up if you learned something game changing and subscribe if you're new so, you know, these gems keep coming. I am starting off this deep conditioning routine on hair that I've been air drying under my t-shirt towel for an hour. Everything will be linked down below per usual. For my low porosity hair, I like starting off on dampish to dry clean hair, but everyone's hair is different. Click the card above to figure out your porosity and then come back to this video. Whether I co-wash, shampoo, or even clay wash, I like starting off with a fresh slate honey. I have tons of wash day videos you can check out and I linked my playlist right here. Here's the tea. Whether you start on soaking wet, damp, or dry hair will come down to trial and error and personal preference. Over the years, I found that this has worked best for my hair and you will just have to experiment to figure out what works best for yours. Got me? So why deep condition at all? I mean, it's an extra step. Well, deep conditioning restores moisture loss from everyday wear and tear on the hair. It helps to hydrate limp, dry curls, improves elasticity or the bounce back to the curls, increases softness and shine, and helps to retain length by keeping breakage and dryness at bay. I start deep conditioning by sectioning my hair into five large sections, and then later breaking down those sections into smaller sections. I started doing this to isolate out my crown section. I found that this section experiences the most breakage, tangling, and dryness, so I like showing this section extra love. Starting with the back section, I first go in with my DIY hair growth oil on my scalp. I already have a dedicated video on this, but you can check it out in the cards. But if you don't like to DIY, I will link some of my favorite store-bought growth oils down below. I focus the oil on my scalp and around the perimeter of the section because I like doing a hot oil treatment and a deep conditioning treatment at the same time. Lightly massaging the oil in has really worked for me and gets the blood flow going. I apply a lot of oil, but use what's comfortable for you. I keep the oil towards my roots as much as possible. Once the oil is applied, I slap on the deep conditioner, and I say that because I slather my hair in it. I make sure to really get the deep conditioner on the ends because they are the oldest and typically the driest part of our hair, and the part that breaks off and says bye-bye. Heavily applying my deep conditioner allows me to have moisture from wash day to wash day. I will link my favorite deep conditioners down below, but I want us to stay right here and focus on the technique. Don't neglect the roots either, and don't leave any curls behind. I also like raking and or smoothing deep conditioner into my hair. As someone with low porosity hair, you're gonna hear that throughout the video, it helps to warm up the product and get the moisture into my strands. After taking my time and showing my hair all the love, I twist it up and I move on to the next section. It wasn't until this video where I realized how long my front section is getting. I experienced the most color damage in this section, so the fact that it's gotten so long after my big chop shows how much my routine is actually working. I am absolutely surprised and I am not putting on for the camera. I was legitimately shocked. Anyway, let's get back down to business. Again, I'm starting off with oil on my scalp. While I'm doing this, let's talk about some other important aspects of deep conditioning. How often should you deep condition? Well, that's really up to you, but I do some type of treatment on my hair once a week when life isn't lifing, because sometimes life do be lifing. For some, that may be too much, but I recommend at least deep conditioning once a month, if you're super lazy. But especially more if your hair is naturally dry and parched. Let's talk about types of treatments. I break them down into several categories. For me, there's deep conditioners, strengthening masks, light protein treatments, intense protein treatments, 
and moisture slash strength balancing treatments. They all have their place in a solid routine, but if you are just starting out, don't think about it too hard. First, get in the habit of reading ingredients to figure out what you're actually applying onto your hair. Sometimes we over condition our hair, but sometimes we use too much protein. And if our hair is too strong, it can start to break off and we don't want that. Secondly, try deep conditioning every week with a deep conditioner that has no or little protein and then use a conditioner with protein in the top five ingredients every four to eight weeks, depending on how your hair feels. I really want to break these treatments down further, but that requires its own video. So let's get this video to 2000 likes. If that's something you're interested in, finding the best deep conditioner for your hair type for you will grow your hair to waist length and beyond if that's your goal. For the sake of this video, let's take the twist down so you can see what we're working with. These curls are serving from roots to tips, and that's what we want. Now it's time to apply some heat, and I prefer going under my hair steamer. I have a dedicated video on hair steaming. If you have a low porosity hair, using heat is almost, you know, non-negotiable. If you want the conditioner to really penetrate and do what it needs to do, girl, sis, bro, honey, apply some heat. Whether that be with the thermal cap, hooded dryer, or steamer, apply some heat. I will link some options down below. Like I said, I personally swear by steaming, and it has been a game changer for me. I usually steam for 20 minutes or 40 minutes, so one or two steam sessions. I recommend applying heat for 20 to 45 minutes. You usually don't need more than that. After steaming, it is time to rinse my hair out and I am using warm water. Cold water makes my hair seize up and feel strange, so I never use cold water to quote unquote close the cuticle. My hair cuticle is naturally closed, so that's a counterproductive step for me. And might I add, super uncomfortable. I cringe at the thought. After all the product is rinsed out, we are left with soft, shiny, and defined curls. I braid my hair in two big sections, and I wear a t-shirt towel until it's time to style my hair. That's it, y'all. That's my process. Simple, right? Let me know, how do you deep condition? And what's your faves? Spill the tea down below in the comment section. I would love to know. I hope this video answered all your questions. If I missed anything, I don't think I did, but if I did, be sure to shoot me a question down below. Love y'all so much. Peace.